Shalom, Kala, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rakhar Kadash. Uh, double honors to the elder apostles of Great Millstone and peace and blessings to all you brothers teaching in truth and sincerity throughout the four corners of the globe underneath the banner and standard of Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai. Alright, just going to get right into it, man. You know, uh, brothers all around man you know this is a crucial time and uh the wilds of the world man you can't let them get to you in this day and age man all right because the the devil is uh lurking around seeking whom he may devour okay so with that being said man the best protection is for you to do the work Okay. That way the Lord sees you in all your doings, man. Alright. You get this uh start now. It's Jeremiah forty eight and ten. It says, Cursed be he that doeth the work of the Lord deceitfully, and cursed be he that keepeth back his sword from blood. Alright, so all you brothers out there, you know, hey, it's time to pick up the pace, you know. Even for myself, all right. Do what you have to do. Constantly stay in the spirit, man. Read. Try to study. You know, link up them pro, them um, precepts, slaki. You know. And and at all all costs, read, man. You know what I'm saying. Because this is the time where, where Satan is, is moving, man. Okay? You, you don't know what the Most High is going to do to you, man. Alright? Got a precept real quick. This First Peter 4 and 12. It says, Beloved, think it not strange concerning the fiery trial, which is to try you as though some strange thing happened. Okay? Yeah, we all going to get uh, tested, man. Believe it or not, man. All right, but the the thing is, to keep on laboring. All right, because that's the way that the the Lord has formulated it. You know, you gotta you gotta endure hardness as a good soldier, man. You know, keep on pushing. All right, let's go to. Uh, Go to Psalms. And we pushing for a reason, man. We pushing so we can get the hell out of here, man. Alright. And enter into the kingdom. Alright. Because with with every push, man, the Lord is coming closer. Psalms 149 and 5 it says let the saints be joyful and glory let them sing aloud upon their beds let the high praises of the most high be in their mouth and the two edged sword in their hand okay why is that well the only way we can we can uh do this thing on this carnal level on this side it's be spiritual, man. That's the best way to be Esau out of his game, man. And like Ephesians says, you know, six in, in uh, Ephesians in the sixth chapter. I don't know what verse exactly. I think it's twelve. All right. Let me do, let me just check it out. All right. says uh for we wrestle not ephesians 6 and 12 for we wrestle not against flesh and blood but against principalities against powers against the rulers of the darkness of this world against spiritual wickedness in high places yeah so you know the only thing we can do because we can't walk up to the wickedness that's in this place because we'll be jailed we'll be executed so on and so forth man you know only thing we got is the the two-edged sword right now of the holy scriptures man okay
And I should have started from verse 11. It says, put on the whole armor of Yahweh that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. All right? So you, you go out there and you do the work. Okay? And don't hold back your uh, your sword from blood, man. You got to execute upon upon this uh, devil, man. You know, like the scriptures are going to say, going back there. All right? You go back. It says, let the high praises of the most high be in their mouth and the two-edged sword in their hands to execute vengeance upon the heathen and punishment upon the people. It says to bind their kings with chains and their nobles with fetters of iron to execute upon them the judgment written. This honor have all his saints. Praise ye the Lord. All right? And it's like that right now. Okay? We, we battling uh, spiritually all day, every day, man. From the time we get up to the time we get to work to the time we get off work to the time we driving home, man. All right? You must keep the, the, the thoughts of the Lord in your head, man. All right? Them scriptures going over and over again in your head because this place is a dangerous place, man. All right? We at war. And that's why we gotta stay prayed up in that that armor, okay? Let's get a couple of quick precepts off of that. Second Thessalonians two and eight it says, And then shall the wicked be revealed, whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth, and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. And that's what's gonna happen to these devils, man. Okay, heathens and devils. When I say heathens, I mean the the other nations. And this devil, which is Esau, man. Okay, he's going down. All right. Let's get Hebrews four and twelve. For the word of God is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the dividing asunder of souls and spirit, and of the joints and marrow, and is a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. Okay, because when we out doing the highways and byways, man, we, you, all we got to do is just peel the precepts from the scriptures. They're going to trip over themselves, and I say them, I mean them so-called Christians, them so-called blasphemers, you know, the scoffers, the scorners, you know, the atheists, all you know, right? Because this, this book, man, this book is a powerful book, just like the, uh, the guy in, uh, Book of Eli said, this book is a weapon, all right? All right. And that's what we have to do, man. We just have to keep on constantly chipping away at this uh, uh, covering cast that Esau has, at this stronghold that he has on the people. You know, which which the men of the Lord, since they came on the scene, this is this has been happening, man. All right. And now it's more evident, man, that the the elder apostles, the spirit of the Lord, is working with them and the man on down. All right. But you have to have hope and and faith, man. Okay. That the words that you speak. It's crumbling this society or this wicked ass kingdom, man. And it's touching Esau in, in, in places that he don't want to be touched, man. Okay? Like Isaiah, the 47 chapter say, man. Skirt is lifted up, man. Okay? We uncovered uncovered his, uh, his hidden places. Secret parts, okay? That's what this work is all about, man. Doing the will of the Heavenly Father to expose this devil, man. To bring back Yahweh Shai back into the realm of the of the uh, of the earth of this heaven on the earth. Okay, the kingdom of heaven to come. All right, we get some more scriptures, man. This is what it's all about, man. It's all about laboring, man. All right? For the will of Yahweh Ba Hashem, Yahweh Shai, man. 
Okay, let me get Jeremiah real quick. <clears throat> See what he said. You know, Jeremiah right, fifty-one and uh twenty. All right, brothers. It says, "Thou art my battle axe and weapons of war. For with thee would I break in pieces the nation, and with thee will I destroy kingdoms." Okay, and that's what he's going to do. Pursuing to to uh, uh, what is it? what is that scripture? No, come to me. No, come to me. But that's what we're doing right now, man. All right. We're breaking down uh, this this nation, Edom's nation, and the other nations. Because once we break down Edom's nation, the other nations are gonna crumble. Okay, like matchsticks in the wind. All right. Let's see what the precept is right here. See, Jeremiah fifteen and twenty three. It says, How is the hem of the whole earth cut asunder and broken? How is Babylon become a desolation among the nations? Okay. And we know how he became a desolation amongst the nation. Okay. Let's go to 24. I have laid a snare for thee, and thou art also taken, O Babylon, and thou wast not aware. Thou art found and also caught, because thou hast striven against the Lord. Okay. And that's how he did it. He used his own wickedness, their own wickedness against them, man. Why? Because they, they seek to be the most high. That's that's blasphemy in itself. Okay. So with that, he's crumbling this society, man. You got the fake food. You got the, uh, uh, the degradation of society. Why? Because he's not following the law, statutes, and commandments. Or neither is he trying to let the people that's supposed to be in rulership in rule, okay, rule over him. And when I say him, I'm talking about Esau, the so-called white man, which is the devil upon the earth, okay. This is why his kingdom is uh, getting destroyed, man. And the men of the Lord is breaking it down, man. No other, no other men... Okay, are more passionate, more in tune with the Holy Spirit. Okay, than the man of Great Millstone, man. And there might be other men out there, you know what I'm saying? But largely and, and far most, okay, it's the man of Great Millstone doing the work. All right, and getting this place to be crumbled. All right. Let me get uh, Psalms 2 and 8. You know, I'm jumping around, man. I'm all over the place, man. But, you know, this is this is just how Spirit had me rolling right now. Salaki Brothers. Okay. Yeah, let's start at four because this is Esau right here. All right, it says uh, Psalms two and eight, I mean two and four. I'll start at four. He that sitteth in the heaven shall laugh. The Lord shall have them in derision. Okay, and who's that sitting in heaven right now in the heavens? Okay. Who's that? Let's get it. Let's get it. Psalm 559 5, and 8. It's lucky. But thou, o Lord, shall laugh at them that shall have all the heathen in derision. Okay? So it's the most high. Shall have them in derision, man. Then shall he speak unto them in his wrath and vex them in his sore displeasure. Yet have I set my king upon my holy hill of, of Zion. It's talking about Yahweh Shai, okay? The adversities, uh, 
1 Samuel 2 and 10, the adverse adversaries of the Lord shall be broken to pieces out of heaven shall he thunder upon them the Lord shall judge the ends of the earth and he shall give strength unto his king and exalt the horn of his anointed and that's what uh, Yahweh Shai is doing man through the scriptures all right okay I will decree I will declare the decree the Lord hath said unto me, Thou art my son, this day have I begotten thee. Alright, ask of me, and I shall give thee the heathen for thine inheritance in the uttermost parts of the earth for thy possession. Thou shalt break them with a rod of iron, thou shalt dash them in pieces like a potter's vessel. Be wise now, therefore, O ye kings, be instructed, ye judges of the earth. Serve the Lord with fear and rejoice with trembling. Okay, so we're going to do all that. It was said in Jeremiah uh, uh, 51. Okay, in 20. All right. And once we, we step step upon that, that uh, breaking breaking the, uh, the kingdoms down, man. Like the Lord said in verse 8, Ask of me, and I shall give thee the heathen for thine inheritance and the uttermost parts of the earth for thy possession. And that's what we want to get, man. We want to gain that. And this is all from doing the, the work of the Heavenly Father, man, not holding back your sword, man. It's imperative that brothers keep up the fight, man. The fight of faith, man. All right? This devil's going down swiftly and sh surely, man. He's out of here, man. He's out of here. He don't have a leg to stand on, man. It's getting blurry for him, you know? He can't see his way out of this. And like like, like every brother know, man, in the spirit, this devil's about to make the move of a lifetime that's going to cause him his kingdom, man. I don't know how to play chess, man, but I know he, he's in a he's in a in a predicament right now, man. Okay, any way he moved that chess piece, it's gonna be checkmate. <laughs> you know, cause the Lord got him in derision, man. So all brothers have to do is just keep up the the works. You know what I'm saying? Have faith in the works, man. Because with those works, man, we crumble in this kingdom, man. We bring this place down. And it's a good feeling, man. When you get off work and you think about the scriptures and you hit the scriptures, you know what I'm saying, you read them. Man, it's not a breeze. But, man, you, you, you rejoice, man. You rejoice in the inside. We about to get payback for the whole nation of Israel, man. Okay. For all the times that we were held in slavery. Alright. We're going to get payback finally. And with the Most High. And His Son man. We got the Most High's chariots above us. We got Yahweh Shai down here on the ground. Ruling over us. Okay. With King David. Alright. 144,000 men. Set up provinces over provinces all over okay man what what more better thing can it be man i don't want nothing on this side no more man you know and when i say that i, I don't i don't desire to be rich man but i have to take care of my daily my daily things man you know that the lord allowed me to do okay so with that, brother, I just, you know, I hope this was a spirit booster and edifying, man. Okay? Because, hey, the Lord suffered, man. He suffered a, a, a lot, man. But the suffering that we doing is light. So suffer for the, for Yahweh, for Hashem, Yahweh Shai, man. Suffer for Yahweh Shai, man. All right? So that he may proclaim your name to the Heavenly Father, man. And you can get on that chariot and get the hell out of here, man. So with that, 
I want to say Shalom. You know, when brothers keep pushing.